Hey, I'm Bay. I'm a reporting fellow at LA Times, and today I'm going to show you some of my favorite coffee shops in the city. From Burbank to Inglewood, we're going to learn about the shops, the owners, and the stories behind the coffee. Our first stop is Café del Mundo in South Central, where you can try their award-winning Café Da, or my personal favorite, Café de Olla. When you walk through our doors, we say, where would you like to travel to? because it's an experience and we want to send you around the world with your taste buds. I love Guatemalan coffee and that those natural cacao notes, so that's what I go to. And I have customers here, I need that El Salvador because it's that fruity, citrusy pear taste that just really makes me happy. And it's all about that service, education, and access. So speaking of education, educate me. So how is the coffee prepared? We specialize in cold brew coffees. The way we prepare it, it, it is in a way that even elevates the unique taste even further because it's less acidic, it's a more concentrated taste, and then we enhance it with our oat milk to further lower the pH because most people of color are lactose intolerant. And so what has been the reaction um, from community members when you say like, hey, this is a vegan coffee shop? What's, what's their sort of response to that? You know, initially they're like, huh, plant-based? It's a lot of education around, okay, well, every country has unique taste for these beans. And we roast it super fresh on site, so you really get those distinct taste and quality. So I think the reaction is people walk away feeling like they've learned something and have interacted with coffee in a way that they've never been able to before. So tell me a little bit about how you got into the coffee business. I had an opportunity to visit my first coffee farm in El Salvador. And so I said, I want to create a business that celebrates and honors the true growers and the laborers and, and the history of this crop and present it in a way that supports the diets of people of color. Next up is Sip and Sonder on the historic Market Street in Inglewood. Here, you'll want to stay a while, catch a vibe, and get a taste of the community in every cup. So from the art on the walls to the coffee cups that you guys serve your drinks in, uh, there's so many little nods to the culture. One of those details I noticed, notably so, is a Cardi Rose. Uh, tell, me, <laughs> tell me about that menu item, how it came to be, and, and what, what that's all about. I love Cardi B. So I'm not, I love Cardi B. Like, I'm a, you I love Cardi B. <laughs> you know, I think that for, you know, gives a lot of rap, but I think that there's, you know, we talked about authenticity. The idea of just being authentically who you are is something that we can get on board with. And so we had this um, delicious rose cardamom latte that we developed. And, and, and you know, we, we try to have names that are, you know, we are, we are black women. And so our existence informs everything that we do. Coffee comes from black and brown communities around the world. And that idea of, we are the face of coffee. What do, what do we like? Tell me about you know, how we got here and how you got into coffee. We were both practicing attorneys, and it really didn't feel like we had safe spaces um, within that corporate environment. And I mentioned to Amanda my kind of journey into coffee through coffee shops and coffee spaces. Um, ultimately into the drink um, itself. We know all the beautiful things that can happen when you have space. And I think by being present in the way that we are, we're a physical representation of that pride and ownership, at least we strive to be, because we're a reflection of everyone that walks through the door. When you're in the mood for coffee and a croissant, Lou the French on the block is the place to go. But wear some comfortable shoes because there will be a line down the block. I'm here with Lou, the French on the block here in Burbank. What what, what are people lined up for? What are, what's your, your specialty? People line up for the croissant first and then they find out that our, our coffee is good too. You know, I, I believe in French, people wake up for a baguette and here people wake up for coffee. There's no croissant without coffee and there's no coffee without croissant. For me, the coffee goes with the croissant and that's the way I've been raised. That's part of my culture. You know, you dip the croissant in the coffee and that's the best thing ever. So just tell me a little bit about yourself and how we got here today. So I was born and raised in France. My parents are from Senegal. I used to play basketball, but I was hurt every single year. So it, was a, it wasn't the career that I wanted because, you know, obviously when you play um, a sport, you want to play the game. And I went to a chef to really see what it is to bake. And uh, I clicked. As an athlete, you practice so much, you build so much confidence. The day I saw him bake, I was like, I can do it. But 
It took me a lot of time before I perfected. How do you source your coffee? Tell me a little, little bit more about um, where your coffee comes from. Luckily, we found a French guy that know a French guy that know a French guy who's in Orange County, who's um, roasting his own coffee, and his coffee is, is on point. These are just a few places that I visited today. For a full list of options, visit latimes.com.